Hi everyone, this is Aaron Kleiderman at LifeBeyondComfort.com where individuals are choosing through coaching, through training, to choose a life beyond comfort, to go in the direction of uncomfortability, to awaken the genius inside. So I wanted to share with you today about what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Is it time? Because time's only going away. Is it inspiration? Just get all the stuff out of your mind and inspiration's right there. I'll be the first one to tell you that. What are you waiting for? At the end of our lives, we want to sit there on our deathbed and say, wow, that man, that woman right there had a lot of great ideas didn't implement any of them. Or, do we want people to look upon that and say, wow, wow, incredible. The level of service, dedication, willingness, courage, trust, that that individual represented in their lives, wow, what a beautiful, magnificent human being. And what a beautiful soul that went with that. And that's the essence of all of this, is getting through the humanness so that our soul can shine. The wisdom, the answers are all inside. It's making the choice in our lives every day to choose from our heart and not our mind. But how do we do that? We do that by learning to balance our mind so that our heart speaks. Balance our mind so that our heart speaks. The woman I was just speaking with, known her for many, many years, very powerful, incredible being. And as we were talking, we started to understand that the very thing that she was fearing was the very thing that she was judging many years ago, and still is. So the very obstacle, the very thing that she wanted to do to get to her dreams was the very exact same thing that she was judging in others. I know that, I can experience that all the time. Because when I've been able to break the judgment in terms of the, the laws, the regulations, the belief systems that I've held on to, then all of a sudden new time, new energy, new space, new understandings open up the neural pathways in my mind and I experience a greater sense of bliss, of understanding, of appreciation, ultimately deep, deep, profound gratitude. Is that what you'd like to experience today? What are you waiting for to experience that gratitude? It doesn't feel good to necessarily work through the emotions, the baggage, the misinterpretations, the judgments, all of the things that you might be holding on to, but what does? I know, and I get, I've experienced in working with clients as well, is that when we let go of all those things that no longer serve us, the misinterpretation of Life is that way, or those people are that way, or this is supposed to be hard, or I can't handle this, or it's too hard, it's too this, it's too that, I ought to do that, I want to do this, instead of right here, right here, that deep space of knowingness that is unique to every one of you. It's unique to every one of you, because every single one of us on this planet has a unique intelligence, a unique DNA footprint that is unlike anything else that is here to shine. It's here to wake up. It's here to step forward, to literally feed our garden, to feed the garden of our body temple so that our mind isn't our master, our heart becomes our master because we're feeding our mind with the exercises, the tools, the techniques to balance the perceptions, to balance the misbeliefs, all the things that are not true, all the things that are being based upon abstracts of reality. The truth is spirit. It's that knowingness, it's that wisdom that's in here that's unique to every one of you. So be willing to listen when everyone else is going a different way. Be willing to listen Attune to that unique wisdom. That is you. That is you. Unlike anybody else. So that you're not waiting 
to get to that dream that you've been thinking about for a decade, for 15, 20, 30 years, whatever it is, now, today is the time. Stop waiting and start acting because I, that wisdom inside will meet you at the point of action. If you don't take action, there's no place to meet you. There's no place to meet if the action isn't being taken. I experienced that and just in the book I'm writing right now. When I take action, I set schedule and I set a time for my writing, for all that. Spirit moves through me and I'm just a vessel. I'm just a vessel for inspiration to happen. Just like you can as well and just like many of you may have experienced as well. That's the opportunity that we have right now, right here. Not tomorrow, not in a week, not in a month, but right now, right here. That's the opportunity. What are you waiting for? And if you want a little inspiration, a little pick-me-up, a little conversation into a deeper way of being, a deeper way of experiencing life, the, the life of your dreams, reach out to me. Lifebeyondcomfort.com Lifebeyondcomfort at gmail.com Write me an email. Let me know what your dreams are, what you're inspired by, what you're waiting to do. Because if you just put it out there, then somebody, something is going to assist you. Spirit will meet you when you start taking action in the direction of your dreams. That, my friends, is true God being represented in the world as you, as me, as the all-encompassing being that we are that I am, that you are. Thank you for your magnificence in the world. Thank you for that love and that wisdom, that dedication to your unique path. And be willing to step through the uncomfort. Be willing to step through in the direction of something that maybe just doesn't feel right, but you have that knowingness inside that it's time to move forward. It's time to really wake up the genius. Mm. Namaste.